Giants at Panthers in week 14. Luke Keekley and Antrell Roll each inked themselves an extension. Keekley six years, Roll two years with their respective teams. We'll start things off late first quarter. Cam Newton, all the time in the world in the pocket, hooks up with Jeremy Curley over the middle for a first down, gets down to the 31 yard line. Then at a second and 10, handoff to the rookie Wesley Chan. He had a Miami University of Florida. As he gets the first down, run of 13 yards more on him in a bit. But first, Cam Newton hits Kelvin Benjamin, the second-year man out of Florida State, for the first down. And now for more, Wesley Chantley breaks a tackle in the backfield, stays on his feet, and he stays up. He's off to the races into the end zone. Number 47, he wears that number in honor of his favorite player, Stephen Davis, growing up. Now with the G-Men takeover, towards the end of the first half, and Ryan Nassib gets sacked. In the backfield, he's injured. He will be out for the rest of the season. So Don Chapman will have to be the quarterback in the second half. He'll start things off by handing off to Rashad Jennings for a big power running first down there. Another handoff to Jennings. Another power running first down up the gut. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it as they hand off to Jennings for a third time on the drive. He gets another first down. And then after a few more Jennings runs, they would be in the red zone. Chapman rolls out to his right. It's Randall Cobb. And ladies and gentlemen, we have Corn on the Cobb. That's his sixth touchdown of the season. Six Corn on the Cobbs, and it's a 7-7 tie ball game. Steve Weatherford boots it off to Jeremy Curley, who feels in his own end zone about two yards in. And he decides to take it all the way. The former New York Jet goes to the 30, the 20, the 10, and he's in the end zone. Jeremy Curley gives the Panthers a 7-point seven, no, seven lead. It's 14-7 Panthers. But Chapman and the G-Men take over in the fourth quarter. He hooks up with Randall Cobb. Cross the middle, gets a few more yards into Panthers territory. Chapman's 5-for-5 five five so far ever since taking over for Nassim. Then he hooks up with Cobb later on in the drive. He gets down even farther into Panthers territory to their 29. And they would have to settle for a field goal, though. It's a 14-10 game. Panthers in the lead after the Tavecchio field goal. But the Panthers take over, and Cam Newton is sacked by JPP. And that gives John Chapman a chance to lead his team down the field with a two-minute drill. He hooks up with Rashad Jennings on the screenplay. Some nice blocking, and he gets some huge yardage before getting pushed to the bounds at the 38. Now, later on in the drive, they're in Panthers territory. Chapman with another screenplay to Jennings. He takes the left-hand side this time, and he finally gets taken down at the five-yard line. Then on second and goal on the three. Clock's running out. Less than a minute left in the fourth. Chapman rolls out to his right. As he's getting hit, he hits Fran Tanzi Neal for his first receiving touchdown of his career. Former tight end out of Purdue picks up his first career touchdown and he gives the Giants a 17-14 lead. Cam Newton takes over though and he scrambles for a first down, gets into field goal position and Graham Gano would knock down that one right down the middle and send it to overtime tied at 17. G-Men start off with the ball, second and four, Chapman rolls out to his right as the pressure's coming. He tries to lob it over the head of the safety but LaRon Landry will have none of that as he picks it off. And he already has the Panthers in great field position. Second and nine on the G-Men, 34. But Chantley is stopped in the backfield. It's third and 12 now on the 38. Newton is sacked by Antrell Roll, who earned that contract with the game-saving sack. And the G-Men have one more chance. Don Chapman rolls out to his right. And he hooks up with Andre Williams, who checked in the ball game at running back. He trucks a few tackles, and he gets all the way into Panthers territory to the 31. Later on in the drive, on the 9, third and goal. And Andre Williams, the former Boston College Golden Eagle, gets in the end zone. He put on his clutch pants today as he gets the game-winning touchdown. He's missed through overtime. And that is how the cookie will crumble. The Giants come out with the win, 23-17. Don Chapman proved that he really does have flashes of excellence. 16 for 20, 222 yards and two touchdowns with 125.4 QBR. Rashad Jennings, 21 carries, 109 yards on the ground with seven receptions and 92 yards receiving. And with that being said, don't forget to tune in next time here as the 8-6 G-Men travel back home to host the Washington Redskins on Thursday night football as the Skins are currently on a six-game losing streak and the G-Men are trying to get themselves into the playoffs. 
I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. If I can. Can't...